What will happen if there is a possibility of another solar system like ours? Did you know the James Webb Space Telescope recently unveiled a fascinating discovery? It has found superheated water vapor in an inner ring of cosmic dust and gas, encircling a far-off star named PDS-70, a celestial body that resembles our Sun. Could this inner disk be the birthplace of small, rocky planets like ours? Could PDS-70 be a cosmic twin of our solar system? Let's find out in this video. In this video, we are going shed light on the James Webb Telescope's intriguing discovery of the water vapor in the inner disk of a distant star, PDS-70. This is a universal fact that life does not exist without water, as it is a fundamental need for life. The question of how Earth acquired its water has long been a topic of intense discussion. Now, the debate has broadened to include whether distant rocky planets undergo a similar process to obtain water. The James Webb Space Telescope's recent discovery has the potential to provide valuable insights to scientists, offering a clearer understanding of this intriguing phenomenon. This groundbreaking discovery was made in the planetary system PDS-70, located approximately 370 light-years from Earth. PDS-70 is a K-type star that is relatively cooler than the Sun's temperature. It is relatively estimated to be 5.4 million years old, making it close in age to other stars that possess planet-forming disks. Another captivating phenomenon detected in the PDS-70 system was that an inner and outer disk of gas and dust just surrounded the system's central star. These disks are separated by an astonishing 8 billion kilometer gap. This system is also known for its potential planet-forming capabilities and has been a subject of intense interest for astronomers. The inner disk of a distant planetary system, PDS-70, is located less than 160 million kilometers. To grasp the scale of this distance, it is nearly equivalent to the separation between our planet and the Sun, which is approximately 152 million kilometers. Is water detection otherwise than on Earth proved to be a game-changing factor in the history of scientific research? Well, NASA has confirmed the groundbreaking nature of this finding. Lead author Julia Perotti of the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy in Heidelberg, Germany, said, We've seen water in other disks, but not so close in a system where planets are currently assembling. We could not make this type of measurement before Webb. This discovery is fascinating as it probes the region where rocky planets similar to Earth typically form. Remarkably, this discovery marks the first instance of water vapor detection in the so-called terrestrial region of a disk that already accommodates two or more early planets. This unconventional finding sheds light on the potential for habitable environments in planetary systems beyond our solar system. The observation marks a crucial milestone in exoplanetary research that has opened up exciting possibilities for further exploration and searching for potential signs of life on distant worlds. The detection of water vapor within the inner disk of PDS-70 is nothing surprising. According to the research made earlier, the common expectation of the gas and dust content in planet-forming disks diminishes over time. Typically, a star's radiation and winds disperse such material, or it clumps together to form larger objects that eventually evolve into planets. This discovery poses intriguing questions about the early stages of planet formation in PDS-70. It challenges the conventional notion that water accumulates in planet-forming regions gradually over time. Instead, it suggests that certain planetary systems, like PDS-70, might have a more efficient mechanism for retaining water during formation. While no planets forming within the inner disk of PDS-70 have been directly observed yet, Scientists have detected raw materials building the rocky world in the form of silicates. We find a relatively high amount of small dust grains. Combined with our detection of water vapor, the inner disk is a very exciting place, said co-author Rens Waters of Radboud University in the Netherlands. These discoveries naturally make us wonder, what's the origin of this water in these emerging planetary systems? Let's break it down. The presence of water molecules in the inner disk of PDS-70 has spurred two possible explanations. The first one suggests that the water molecules are forming in a situ where they are detected, that is, through the combination of hydrogen and oxygen atoms. The second possibility could be that the ice-coated dust particles from the cooler outer disk are transported to the hotter inner disk. 
In this inner region, the water ice would sublimate, which results in transforming into vapor. This transportation mechanism is particularly intriguing because it would require the dust particles to traverse the vast gap created by the two giant planets within the system. Still, the question remains how can water endure such proximity to the star? The potential for the star's intense ultraviolet light is to break apart the water molecules present. Scientists hypothesize that surrounding materials, such as dust and other water molecules, might act as a protective shield, allowing the water detected in the inner disk of PDS-70 to survive this destructive process. This discovery challenges the conventional belief that water primarily originates from distant icy bodies like comets, and it opens up the possibility that rocky planets forming in the inner regions of young star systems might have direct access to water reservoirs. The theory that Earth's water originated from distant sources like comets is focused on the fact that a substantial portion of Earth's water had originated from comets during its early history. Comets are icy bodies from distant regions of the solar system. According to this theory, Comets collided with the Earth during the early formation of the solar system and transferred their water content to our planet. On the contrary, discovering water vapor in the inner disk of PDS-70 challenges the idea. Instead, the presence of water vapor in the internal disk suggests that water could be more readily available close to the central star during the early stages of planet formation. Could it be possible for both theories to be accurate simultaneously? Is there a chance that each theory holds truth in its findings? Investigations are currently underway to explore this possibility. The scientists would need to reevaluate numerous models based on a younger universe. This discovery raises our interest in the habitability of rocky planets in young star systems and the accessibility of water reservoirs during planetary development. As we explore its implications, this finding may shape future space missions and our search for life beyond our solar system. In the quest for further understanding, the research team intends to utilize two more tools aboard the Webb telescope, the NIRCAM, near-infrared camera, and the NIRSPEC, near-infrared spectrograph, with the goal of examining deeper into the mysteries of the PDS-70 system with a more exhaustive investigation. Will the presence of water vapor in the inner disk of PDS-70 influence our perspectives on developing planets? Could this discovery lead to revisions in existing models and theories? We'd love to hear your opinions in the comments below. If this video sparked your interest, give it a galactic thumbs up and make sure to subscribe at warp speed. Don't go just yet. Click on the video on your screen for more exciting space explorations.